Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. Beautiful graphics. <laughs> Thanks to the re-environment mod. And a uh, couple of updates. Well, maybe a recap is the more proper term. What we've done in the last episode, well, we've uh, overhauled most of our lines. As you can see this one here. I've, uh, I think I've graduated from being a super cheapskate. <laughs> and now I'm starting to spend money. To make more money and uh, looks like we're doing fine i've been upgrading my trains to the mikado state-of-the-art uh, trains given our current year which is 1919 yeah the mikado's what let me see the mikado released uh, 1916 yeah so it's a three-year-old train state-of-the-art exactly oh there's even a new one here all right but anyway yeah, so I've updated, I've upgraded the line which brings uh, food here using this windy track, windy hilly track. Now it also carries con mats on the opposite side as you can see, just a little bit for now, but it does bring the con mats all the way from the other side of the world to this place and brings it over to the north. Yeah, a lot of things happened in the last episode. A lot of waiting happening here, even the milk line is uh, flourishing. This is actually full, but you can't see it. I think it's a... I think the, the universal stake car is not compatible with the... What do you call it? With the new industries mod, which adds uh, like milk and different kinds of goods. So that one is not recognized, and so it doesn't have a, an appearance. So it seems like it's empty, but it's not really. But I can live with that bug as long as it works properly, it works efficiently. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. No more buildup of milk right there. That's awesome. Over on the Conmat side, we've also done some upgrades, right? Yeah, this one in particular. Everything is uni using the universal stake cars now. Because it just adds so much flexibility. Makes our train line so much more uh, efficient being able to take goods both ways. So in here, carrying con mats, so carrying stone, delivering here, carrying con mats back, and then the other con mats getting delivered to uh, Farnham. Yeah, and, then, and on the opposite side, they should be able to take food back. Yeah, two, <laughs> two pieces of bread for now. But yeah, it is uh, starting to take shape. It is starting to take shape. And if we need it, we can also make this longer. Even this line we made into the universal stake car. So they're bringing con mats one way and then bringing back food the other. Like this one? This one doesn't have anything though. Yeah, because the food is just arriving right now. But yeah, you get the picture, right? So let me fast forward the game so we can uh, accumulate some more money. And um, I'm trying to think what, we're, what we have planned next. What's our next step? Everything seems to be working fine. Of course, we can always do some more optimization, but it's not really going to benefit us so much right now. Wow, look at that. Lots of food waiting at the shipyard. That one is going to get picked up, 100. And then is another one coming in? Okay, another one is coming in. Yeah, I think there might be a limit with the ship here. If necessary, you might even need to make a train line here. Oh, that might be nice, huh? Converting this ship line into a train line as well. Like traveling across the coast here. Like that. Skirting through the mountains like this. Oh man, that looks beautiful. That. Uh, if you're wondering how, how, why the graphics is so much better than the original one, this is because I'm using the re-environment mod. Check out the Steam collection for the link. And this was uh, recommended by Barry. This is applicable for European environments. Man, everything just looks better, especially the sky. So yeah, we can make a train line there and connect it here. So instead of having ships, which are a lot slower, we can convert that into trains. But right now, I don't think it's... I, I, I kind of like the variety, you know. Oh, we have, uh, we have planes now. And we have both cargo and passenger planes. Although that, that's not really the best... Uh, way to make money. In this game, planes are not money makers, unfortunately. They're too expensive. They have too high costs. 
they do give a lot of flexibility though so maybe we'll have to take a look at that but anyway let's go and expand this one i mentioned in the previous episode that uh, we'll be working on this one next so we're able to link the con mats arrive here food arrives here and on this side we're starting with the oil production yeah is that right yes the fuel production this train which i can click there we go yeah it's taking crude over here delivering there this one creates fuel and the fuel gets delivered here gets shipped to that station and gets transferred to three different routes one is the racetrack and then two cities as well here and there uh, where is it here in northwich and also fuel gets delivered to this one as well yeah this one the power plant now, i'm not sure if that upgraded the 228 limit do you guys remember if that got upgraded i can't quite remember it doesn't look like these things get up upgraded though yeah this limit is 172 hasn't shown any indication that it can upgrade even if we are maximizing the uh, this the supply there so i think that's a dead end so the only way to deliver more is to grow the cities and one idea is to connect this to this station yeah because if we do that then that means we connect the oil and the food on all existing cities and then eventually maybe the con mats can also link here yeah because con mats are being transferred here now so they can also get transferred all the way if we connect them here so if we do that basically if we do this single connection then we're we're connecting all our existing cities and their products yeah food con mats and fuel it might not be the best um linkage but it is going to be there nonetheless so that's going to be the focus of this episode unfortunately it's going to be not it's not going to be that simple because as you can see there is a huge thing here a huge contour that might get in the way of that but let me see i remember i already made a station for this yeah there's already a platform specifically for that it's just that I think it will cost like 20 million or more connecting this this station with that one. And um, let me see, okay? Let me see. If I just do it like this, let me try to remember that one. If I just... Let me see, huh? Okay, right now this one is... The lines are... Okay. The milk line is using this platform. I think I want to use that. Or do I? I can use the other one, it's no problem. Yeah, I can use the other one so it's more curvy. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, let's let's just use that one for simplicity's sake. Okay, so if we do that, and I just drag it over all the way to the end. Actually I need to connect it to Northwich, like this one. Because I want to make a station there. And then connect that. To Rujli. Like instead of connecting to Rujli immediately, I want another station in there. So they can drop off in Northwich. So we can connect to that city as well. Because right now we're only connecting uh delivering to the Northwich by trucks from here, which is a bit far. It's going to be a bottleneck eventually. But for now I guess we can do like that. Okay, that's gonna be 16.8 million. Um it's not the best. So there will be a tunnel, there will be a bridge, and uh, I think that's it. 16.8 million, that's not too bad, huh? So we can actually, if, we, I, if I remove these roads, I think it will work. These two roads which are getting highlighted. Wait a minute, that became 20, 22.9 million. Okay. Yeah, that might not work as good. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like I can connect here to Northwich unless I make like a, a train station right here. No, right now I think trucks can work it, can can make it work for now. Yeah, let's just connect here. Let's not make a new station here. 
Okay, so how do we manage this? How do we manage this? Right now, that one is not allowed. Why? Is it just because of that road or is there something else? Okay, let me see. If I remove these two roads... Oh man, let's pause the game first. I have to remember to bring this back. <laughs> I think I missed a road somewhere. Where was it? There was a road which I forgot to bring back, but I can't see it anymore. Anyway, let's try that, and then let's try to connect this one again. Let, this time, let's start from this end, okay? There. And connect all the way here. Sometimes the easiest, the cheapest way is to just connect it like that. I've learned. Okay, that one is 14.8 million. And now it's possible by just deleting the roads. It's 14.8 with the poor bridges, like maximum 60. If you make it a maximum of 120, like so, it becomes 21 million. But I think it's going to be worth it, guys. I'm biting the bullet here. <laughs> okay, then let's bring back the roads. Oh, man, ba down to 6.23 M. That really hurts. Good, that's connected. And this one connect as well. Good. Perfect. Okay, everybody happy? Okay. Go forth and get me some money again. Oh, wait, crap. I built catenaries. Okay, I'm not going to remove the catenaries anymore. Because I think we might benefit from that in the future. Actually, if I look at the station, if I look at the train. Um, one sec, huh? If I can remove this connection. That one. And, uh, boss. I know, that's not the way to do it. But that one works. Good. Yeah, so con disconnect that. And instead, connect a depot here at the end. Um, maybe just a bumper as depot thing. That one. Beautiful. Hey, where's all the milk gone? That one only carried 46. Guys, go faster. What is that? Look at that. We have livestock there. Um, one sec, one sec. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute, that's new. This guy is carrying livestock and milk. What changed? And where will that go? <laughs> That's quite interesting. Wait a minute. Is this because this one uh, upgraded? Alright. If you do that... Ah, they're both producing food. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's because this one upgraded. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is like the max level already. And I think that's why the milk production went down because it upgraded. As you guys have uh, seen in previous episodes, when uh, building upgrades, production zeroes out for a month, and then it comes back up. But now, it looks like, yeah, it looks like delivering grain produces two milk and livestock. This is actually a winner right here. If we manage to upgrade the livestock here, we can replace the milk. That means we don't need to transfer milk anymore, we can just transfer grain. Uh, livestock, I mean, because livestock is one is to one with the food. Which means you only need to deliver one livestock to get one food. That means we need to ship less livestock versus shipping more milk. Yeah, the only problem is right now, the, only, the limit for livestock is only 956. So it will not be able to satisfy the demand for food, which is 4,916. <laughs> so yeah, we still need milk, but that's good that we have uh, livestock producing now as well. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. That's amazing. Alright. Does that mean this one also stepped up? This is still insane. If we deliver uranium, it's going to deliver so much grains. Okay, yeah, yeah no problem. This is in risk of a downgrade. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's going to step up. 
in a few months after this after it uh, knows again that there is a new connection here I really like this cattle production okay let's give it a few months that will activate All right anyway so we need a train which will connect this to this we don't even need to plan what to bring because it the game will settle itself so we simply put a train with a universal stake car or well, lots of universal stake cars and then just wait and see how the game manages that i'm sure fuel will be diverted to that somehow and uh, food will get diverted to that somehow and maybe even con mats can get in there at one point yeah most probably i won't be surprised so let's go shopping for a train do we need a big one yeah i think i'll, I'll get a big one i got a new train this one I think this is from a, one of the mods I have. Max speed is 80. Tractive effort is 200. Uh, not very powerful. Wow, look at this. The Milwaukee Road Class 80. Look at the tractive effort there. 516 compared to the Mikado. It's only 228. Although the price is also like four times <laughs> more expensive. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's an all-out thing. But if we're looking for power... That is the way to go. Commonly known as bipolars. Most interesting and complex designs ever developed. So is that diesel or electric? Or steam? It is electric, so we need catenaries for that. Okay. Maybe let's try that for our new line. Do we need to though? Because this is a relatively flat... Yeah, what we've done here by just dragging this through and through is we made a flat line it's not slopey at all so we spent so much to make it as flat as possible which means we won't need as much tractive effort so i think a mikado should be more than enough might even not need that much is this a mikado as well yes it is yeah so let me see how long is this platform did i get a long one here it's not a long one this one is just what uh, 320 though, yeah, 320 is not bad. 320 is not bad. So I can make a 320 meter train with a Mikado, I guess. And I can see how much that brings in. Okay, so let's wait for December. By the way, do we have any loans? No loans. Beautiful. Look at that, we earned 21 million last year. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? And I think that's already with expenses. Running costs, no, not, not just 6 million in new vehicles. That's why we earned so much. Okay. okay, it's December now. Let's get a Mikado. Let's fill it with the Universal Stake Cars from Navy. Navy's Universal Stake Cars. Let's make it a 320 meter length train. Just a single train for now. Yeah, 310 should be enough. Set you on a new line from here to there. Okay, let's call this the Pickering, no, 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 how do we call it? Rougely, mm. it's a bit weird, is it Northwich or Pickering? Let's call it Pickering, Pickering Rougely connection, train, Pickering Rougely, connect. Oh, the crocodile is down. It's up now. And Schneider PB2. Is that a new bus? Might be. Where's our train? There it is. The beauty. I'm gonna take a I'm going to take a screenshot there for sure later on. That's beautiful. But can you imagine that? We were able to buy a train without loaning anything. A brand new train in cash. Yeah? <laughs> we're getting rich guys. We are getting rich. So how are things here now? 1192. Alright, by by February, I guess, things should kick in. I'm not sure if the game can handle all that computation. I hope it can. But by connecting that and using universal stake cars, I'm interested to see how demand will spike up for all our productions. You know what? Let's pause the game. Let's double check that. All our producing plants. Okay, let's see. 
Let's open them all and observe what will happen. The food processing plant, the oil refinery, and the corn mats plant. Let's see if they will improve by next month. That one. All right. Let me unpause the game. Let's compare. 1192, 5984, and 5564. Come on, suspense is killing me. January 30, one day to go. All right, here it is. Let's see if that will change. Don't embarrass me now, please. There we go. Okay. Oil definitely stepped up from 1-1 to 2-3. Uh, food processing plant went down. I guess there was a bottleneck somewhere, but it increased as well from for this one, for these towns, I guess. And then the con mats also increased from 5.5 five or something to 6.4. So I think we captured those two cities. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay, that's definitely what I want. Good. All right, that's exactly what I was looking for. So now let's uh, fast forward and see how it looks like. So we have this single train so far. No one has delivered anything to it yet. Yeah, we're getting a mixture of milk and cattle here. That's good. This is really amazing. Okay, we have a lot of milk stored. Yeah, that's getting transferred here now. That's beautiful. So this should be a full train. Okay, we have one piece of food getting delivered to the connection. There we go. The first shipment. Unfortunately, I think food as well isn't compatible. We don't see it reflected in the wagon. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's because of the new industry mod. Maybe an incompatibility. Keep high production to upgrade in seven months. Beautiful. All right. We have a lot of crude here. Everything is getting burned down. And uh, nothing stored. Everything is being transferred to the train station beautiful so I'm expecting some of this should be assigned to the Rujli there we go yes the connection 34 fuel waiting to get transferred to the milk line I hope they don't <laughs> I know they I hope they don't mix up fuel and milk when trying to <laughs> when making that connection okay yeah one thing that we don't have I just remembered it all right this is the first pickup delivering food here yeah, food is there, and now he's picking up fuel. Beautiful. Alright. Yeah, one thing I forgot... ...is to connect the boats. Because right now we can connect... Oh crap! Something was expiring. And I didn't see what it was. Let me double check here. Look at the age. I think it's that one. The ship, probably. 45 years Is that the one? Let's have a look at the vehicle uh, What's the, 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 the thing here? How long are you available? 50 years What kind of vehicle are you anyway? One sec You are a uh, Rigi That this one 50 years It's not really that one I guess if you look here, I should see something that's red. Not really. Maybe it's these guys, these road vehicles. This must probably be... 30 years only. Let me see, where are you? Yeah, road vehicle 110. Yeah, these guys, looks like. Yep, all from the same line, looks like. No, it's not. Crap, okay. Alright, um, let's see, let's see. Slow down. So these guys... Okay. Let's replace them with the new ones. The Mac AC, I think is the newest one. The Benz is better. 40 kilometers, 30 kilometers. Benz is better. Let's go with that. AC, yes. The bus in a toaster. Let's replace you with the new ones. Why not? That one. Schneider PB2. 
Yeah. Good. And this one as well. Face you with that. Schneider face. Yes. And I'm not turning on auto replacement because I want them to change. I want next time, 30 years from now, or when they are expired, I want them to, um, how do you say, to notify me so I can upgrade the buses again with the, the newer buses from that time. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. Yeah, those are the ones which will change soon. All right. All right. I think we're good. We are getting food in here now. 15 food. That's nice. So we should see food now here in this station. Not really. Maybe they got transferred already. I think. All right. Let's go back here. Let's check how this is going. Still a lot of crude. Still producing non-stop. Still scheduled for upgrade. That's perfect. And let me double check the the demand. Yeah, 2,000. Yeah, demand did increase. Right, drinking that up. Yeah, delivering both fuel and milk. Fuel, milk, and uh, cattle. Interesting. All kinds of cargo being shipped now. Now this is becoming a real train, huh? The train and toaster and sandwich. Just replace it with the same thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Getting lazy. Alright. And then a little, little food of little food waiting in here as well. And this one in turn. Yes, fuel is getting transferred. Beautiful. Okay, that's working. That's working out fine. So this one is shipping food and fuel to the city below. But we can increase the Alright, this is what happened. Now I understand. This one, the oil refinery, we see that the demand for fuel increased to 2-3. That's because we were able to link up the two cities here, Pickering, and uh, this one, Hailsome. But we were not able to deliver fuel all the way or connect fuel all the way across the seas, across the river with this to these cities because the ship line we have only can carry solid objects so this boat here if you look at the stats this is that one the plondike can carry almost everything except the liquid so to speak for the fuel we need a this one the vandal yeah unfortunately so if we want to do that we'll either need a new ship line to ship to transfer fuel as well or we can maybe create that train station what do you guys think i'll wait for the next episode for that i'll wait i'll wait what you guys think about it if we should create a train line here hugging this coast and then connecting to the city that might be a very complicated uh, venture but it might do the trick for now, let's add ships. Let's add a station so we can at least connect them. Yeah, let's uh, add a ship depot, a freight one, cargo harbor facing the other way. And then link you up like so. That is hopefully still connected to the city. Actually, can I just... I don't really need to do this, do I? I can just dock him here, add another platform in here. Yeah, two, add two loading docks. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. I don't really need this. We just wasted a bit of money there, but fine. Charge that to experience. Alright, so how do I change this now? Vehicles in the way. Let's uh, stop this vehicle for now so we can upgrade this. If 
faster, please. Is this the max speed? Yes, it is. Come on, bro. Hurry. There we go. Stop. Make it two loading docks. Okay, I was I was a bit afraid it would crash. Okay, and then you go again. Okay, they're moving. All right, so now we have two platforms in here. That means we can add one more line for the other freight for the other for the fuel yeah and i can actually make them share a platform but they already have trouble as it is with the the number of ships there's some waiting involved already so if i i make them on the same line then it will be just uh, even more carnage even more waiting time why not make it in parallel so they don't get into traffic with each other right so for now let's add maybe three ships capacity 150 that's amazing it's also faster yes yeah. it's not expensive quite but it's going to be worth it all right at least we we make the connection so by november i'm hoping that uh, the game realizes the connection and ships fuel that way just a temporary thing. Yeah, from 2.4, I'm hoping that increases. So, as you can see, oh, this one upgraded. Beautiful. Now it's limited to 3,100. Nice. <clears throat> now we can, we can also connect this. <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> mm, okay, feeling better. We can also just connect this here. That might be the easier thing. Instead of shipping con mats or fuel all the way around the world, we can also just connect this station, which is where the crude oil is coming from. Connect this station here. And that might work even better. Yeah. Yeah, so instead of creating the train connection on the coast, we connect that here instead. But that might mean... That might actually phase out the boats already, if you could do that. Because the food here might then they might then decide that the food instead of getting delivered via ships they just use the train deliver it this way yeah to the cities here that might be a thing yeah hmm interesting well let me know what you think about that guys let me know which you prefer okay good getting lots of crude are you able to take all of that? Yes, you are. Good. Fuel is coming. Everything is taking shape. Look at this one. We have fuel, milk, and cattle. I guess you would be full, huh? Yeah, full. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Lots of fuel getting shipped now. So, let's see. Is it November? Yes, it's connected. Let's to check you. It has increased a bit from 2.4 to 2.7, but not as much as I expected. I guess I must still be missing something. Oh, I also have to make this double, this end, a double thing. But it should still connect, right? So it's like that. Two buildings will be removed. That's fine. You guys can come back next time. I'm not sure why the fuel isn't connected all the way though. It should have detected these cities. And the catchment should be in there already. Because the catchment for conmats is the same as the fuel. Those are for industries both. Can you get in there now? I have to stop this I think. Vehicles in still in the way. Come on, bro. Okay, there we go. Yes. Daimler top seater. Is that a bus? Interesting. Okay, now this is two platforms. So now it should be split as well. Yeah. That should facilitate better parallel docking. And... Uh, not sure what's happening. Wait a minute, one sec. We're getting a lot of 
things piled up in here. That's fine. I think what we need help with are these guys. I think we need more trucks here. Uh, let me see. These are the old trucks, I think. Yeah, these are old trucks. Let's replace you with the newer ones. The bends. That should help a lot with the... The delivery of goods in the city. Right? So let me see. I'm hoping that... Okay, these are universal stake cars. It's a universal stake cars everywhere. And the catchment should be including the cone mats, the industrial area, right? This one, the red line, yeah, has a stop here, which, uh, yeah, captures all the industrial zones here. Sandwich is, uh, yeah, that's fuel, that's fuel here. That should be in catchment. And also here should be in catchment with our truck lines. Let me double check. That's the truck. Uh, stopping here. Yes. And even the train station itself is in catchment of industrial areas. Although we don't really use that train station. Okay. Cancel that. We don't need that. But we have this truck station. This. Uh, bus station where trucks drop off food and fuel supposedly so I'm expecting that this actually should have much bigger demand not only 2700 unless it gets cut off somewhere let me see so we have fuel here that's good we have fuel here that's good so fuel is delivered here Yes, and that's in catchment of this station. Yeah, that's good. So ideally, fuel is transferred here. Yeah, but then, where are my vandals? Yeah, the vandals should be able to carry fuel. Maybe it's not yet registering. I don't know. Yeah, that one reaches this place. That one connects to this uh, ship. This uh, dock. And that one connects to the truck station here and the... The train station here. This one has universal stake cars as well. So that should reach here. Which should be able to drop off some here and some connecting to that other train station other platform which will then connect here drop off the fuel here and then connect some of them will get dropped off to the truck stations no 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 my bad there's no truck station here anymore i can actually delete that already um that can actually connect uh, to the train with universal stake cars here so they can drop off fuel in these places and these ones, as we've checked, are already connected to the industrial zones in these cities. So actually, I don't see a reason why the demand is not increasing so much. We have such huge cities in here. It even went down. Wait a minute, there's a bottleneck somewhere. Is it this one? Not really. There's a bottleneck somewhere, and I can't pinpoint it. <laughs> Our network is becoming so huge. Whoa, what? What the heck is happening here? 674. Potential is only 24. But production is 3000. <laughs> Crude production is going bananas, going mad in here. Yeah. I'm not sure how that works. But in terms of uh, supply, oh yeah, we're an out. We ran out of crude. I need longer trains. These trains, you guys need to be bigger. You're only 161 meters. And it can actually make you larger. Much larger. Mediocre. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me upgrade you guys. 
we have 33 million anyway are definitely improving uh, and uh, instead of that you know what should we go with the Mikado as well I'm thinking we should go with the Mikado if you compare the A35 with the Mikado or oh, the Mikado is lower Yeah, with this kind of very long route, I think we need faster trains. I'm not sure if they can manage the a 320 meter train though. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's going to be for the best. So let me just stick with that. But let me use universal state cars. This one. Add that until 320 meters. Might be too much, I know. 315. 30.2 million! <laughs> Wait a minute. That got me aback for a second. Uh, it might be too much. Uh, let's let's, uh, let's uh, think about this properly, okay? Um, let's make it 240 meters for now. <laughs> That's 20.6 million. Oh man. Should I really? Let, let me have a look how much this line is earning. 10 million. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. 320. Bite the bullet. Bam. Down to 6 million again. <laughs> Wait. You. Okay, fine. Let's make that for the next train. Right. Let's see which one will upgrade first. Oh, one of them upgraded. This guy can handle 286, so that's double the capacity. Poor power rating now. Can handle flat and medium, but not high. Okay, let's let's observe how he will fare in terms of speed. Well, in terms of speed, he can pick up the speed fine. He can actually reach top speed, although he does not have any load for now. He is slowing down a bit. Let's upgrade this one to the newest bus. Top seater. Why not? 1.45M. How many are you? Whoa, so many buses. Okay, fine. Alright. So this guy is now carrying all the crude. Perfect. 286. That's what I like. In terms of pulling power, he is picking up speed. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I think he's managing fine. Um, okay, yes. Still climbing, still climbing. Let's observe it, alright? And let's go for a, a tour. This is just like train sim. Speaking of train sim, I'm going to get into train sim world. By the time you watch this video, I probably have done my first stream with that. You guys... Yeah, you're going to be replaced already, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Speed is definitely slowing down here. Losing momentum. Lost almost half his speed. We'll have to see if he, were, he can manage it. Okay, now he's underground. Can we go first person so we can see? Yeah, speed is in the lower right. Picking up speed. Signals reflecting. This is his true speed. This is times one. And now he's slowing down. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, for a full length train, for a fully loaded train, it's not bad at all. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. Good job there. Then he just, he just needs to drop that off. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, this one is different now. <laughs> yeah, you guys 
get the state of the art benzes. Is that a full load? Not full load. Why didn't you. Maybe he got everything already. Okay. Things are stepping up. Production is still not in tip top shape. The potential, some of them went away. But fine. Okay. That settles it. So, do we need one more in here? Like. Hmm. Yeah, so the question for you guys do we connect that crude oil station to maybe this one, the stone line? Or do we create a train line here on the ship, replacing the ship altogether? Yeah, on the coast here. Which is more practical. Which is more efficient for you guys. Are we carrying any fuel now? Let's double check the, the fuel here. So if you look at the finances, they have never taken any fuel yet. Yeah, just pure expenses. That's bad. Let me see. We have 77 fuel here. Let's see where they are all going. And uh, let me maybe double check that the Vandal can indeed take fuel. They should be able to, theoretically. Let's double check that. Crap. Okay, everything went to this station. Nothing went to the, the boats. Why not? Am I missing something, guys? Is the Vandal not able to take that in? This is the Vandal. If I look at the Vandal, it can carry fuel. So that that should be set right there. We set it to automatic for both. So it should be able to take care of anything it needs. I guess there's just not enough fuel right now. Yeah, because there's still a lot of demand in here. 47% only. So I guess all the fuel is still being uh, filled here in these cities. Yeah, only 96%. Uh, well, 96 out of 620, 15% fuel in Pickering. So yeah, before they probably ship by boat, they probably want to fill the fuel first for those cities. This guy has 128. Okay, it's not bad. They're earning money now, that's good. But actually, they're not earning a lot, huh? This, look at the milk line here. 2.29. Actually, no, it, the... the the income is getting in there. Yeah, income is rising, although the expenses are very large as well. This is a full train, right? Yeah, this is a full train. But for some reason, they're not earning as much. I don't know why. I don't know why not. Good. We might also need to double track this eventually. This single train might not do it in the long run, but for now I think it's going to it's working. A bit. <laughs> not a lot, but for now it's enough. Everything is good. Let's have a look at the towns here. Rougely. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. 83% food, 96% fuel. Yeah, they're pretty happy in there. I should maybe make a tram station in here, uh, connect passengers somewhat. Because we've only been focusing on fuel, on uh, goods. This one is carrying full crude. That's good. Now Northwich has uh, moderate food and full fuel. That's not, that, that's not too bad. There we go. Dropped off the food in there to both cities. And this guy is taking fuel back the opposite way. Alright, I like it. Beautiful. What we haven't seen is conmats. Yeah, conmats haven't reached the spot yet. They should be able to technically, but I think... I'm not sure. I think there's a limit as well with the connections. Are you guys familiar with that? Like the number of connections before it, like the, the, the game gives up? It might be a too long connection now. I'm not sure. Maybe the conmats can't reach it because it's too long. And maybe in the same way, 
That's why the demand isn't increasing for fuel, is because the line is too long already. Maybe, so maybe we have to really connect it this way. Yeah, crude to the stone line and make a line there. Oh, that's not going to be pretty though. This is a one-way thing. I have to remake this crap. And that's a bit hilly, so I'll have to make it like that. Maybe hug the hills and then connect it like that way. I'm not sure. We will see. Yeah, we will see. Okay, but yes. Let's, I guess, leave it there for now. You guys let me know what you think. But so far, I am liking where we're headed. Look at that. We're down. We're up to 30 million again. I just spent it upgrading these trains and now we're up to 30 million again. We are now making huge money here. Look at this one. This one is earning 14.6 million, this crew, this train line for fuel. I think on all my games, the fuel line has always been the, the biggest money maker. I think it's because the crew and the fuel is so, so compatible with each other. And they just maximize the trains. They're perfect for trains. That. Yeah, the simplest most efficient beautiful and how about this one this one is earning 1.67 M that's yeah, not too bad yeah upgrade in seven months okay okay it's stepping up again that's good that's good all right keep it there this one wow so many so much stuff happening in here four different types of goods now a little bit of fuel, lots of food, milk, and cattle. Amazing. Yeah, unfortunately, not everything is reflected. It's a full train, but you can't see it. Okay, this one is doing good, I think. Yes, look at that. Full cattle production. Even the game realizes that cattle is more efficient than milk. So it's delivering the cattle instead. This one makes sense though, huh? Like, you would get more milk than cattle for sure, because cattle produce milk. So, <laughs> so yeah, you can produce much more milk than cattle. That makes a lot of sense. Look at this. This is just a beauty to behold, all different types of goods. Now that's a real train station. This is becoming like a real hub. Anyway, alright guys, I'm letting you go. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun here. Let me know what you think about that idea, connecting this one in the north. The north line, we could call it. Another connection in here. Yeah, maybe that will help. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. And if you did like the video, like the episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Catch you in the next one. Man, that's how the boat looks for fuel. That looks really cool, but yeah, I think we've reached the, the connection limit. Anyway, thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. We reached 40 million, by the way. Bye-bye.